Hello and welcome to Patch. I'm your host, Paul James. Today I'm joined by Matt Phillips. Oh, fuck me. You sorry me for spin. That, so that, 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 that's killed you. Yeah. Matt Phillips and Damo Camilleri. How are you, gents? Well, I'm young than you, even though I'm older than you. I mean, I didn't fall asleep before the recording because I had a warm bundle of life on top of me. Yeah. I'm feeling quite spry, and some <laughs> would say, Paul, do you need me to speak up? And talk slower. I'm gonna have to yeah, definitely go slower. I've only just recently ball. woken up, so go slower. That's for sure. Ooh, for, fell asleep putting my son to bed. Everyone, by the way. Yeah, um, I know. And I'm complaining about the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How dare he be a decent parent? God. So while we're complaining about shit, uh, PlayStation made a big decision after it was kind of leaked the week before. They officially revealed that uh, in July and August, they're going to be switching off the PlayStation stores for the PS3 and the PSP. That's July 2nd. I didn't know the PS3 one was still going. Man. Well, the PSP like, one, it was like really limited capacity. It was anything that you could also buy through the PS3. You could still, there was still kind of little workarounds, whereas now it's going to be straight up gone. So the PS3 and the PSP on July 2nd and on August 27th, probably the one that's been the most controversial of the lot is the PS Vita. Um, what do we think about, I guess, at, at, at kind of a top level, what do we think about the fact that the, the stores are being shut down? Can't, I'll just to be clear, you can still download games that you previously bought, but you can't go on the store yeah. and buy anything new. So the message is go out and buy well, what you want. It's resources that uh, they don't need. Like active PS3 users, active PS3, uses a pretty low it's like pulling the plug on a you know someone in a coma here at this stage oh, fuck. Like, look, they've lived a, they've lived <laughs> a very a long life. and fruitful life right they've had a terrible accident one being existing as a PSP like <laughs> but what I'm just saying like you know it is it's come to that choice where they've got to be like do we keep pumping money into something that's not producing anything for us? Or do we, like, from a business standpoint, you, they made the right choice. Yeah, so on the, on the business side, it kind of makes sense. So I don't think, um, like, server, like, you know, the internet server load's an issue per se, especially if they're still letting you download the games anyway. For those most of those games, it wasn't the fact that you could go online to play your games that was kind of costing them. It was the fact that you need to keep them there so people could re-download their games at any point. They're still letting you do that anyway. I think it was more... You know, random indie game is probably selling like two or three copies a year, and we have to cut a check for these people at basically every single like every single quarter for like yeah. two or three bucks. We don't want to have to do that anymore, so let's cut uh, let's cut that out completely by shutting down the the network on those systems. Matter where do you stand on the whole thing? Honestly, I couldn't care less because you're easy. everyone else. Hey, you look at you look at Xbox; they still have their backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. And Series perfectly X. Perfectly fine. Yeah. And Series X, perfectly fine. Nintendo, they're bringing back all their old games through their memberships. And Sony's just there doing nothing. So that's closing down. That's one of the more frustrating parts of the whole thing, Is I think, is that they're doing absolutely nothing. Um, you can't go and play your PS3 games, and I guess because you could also buy PS1 and PS2 classics on the, yeah. on the PS3. Who's played PS3? Three games these days. Besides people but, with PS3s, are you? Yeah, yeah, de definitely. Only people who want to get the platinums. That's it. I wasn't going uh, playing games for platinums, though. If I get opportunities, I will. And I've got this great platinum cup trophy. Uh, trophy cup. <laughs> it's not platinum. It's clear. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very so clear. Yeah. Old. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're the ones dragging their heels. But that being said, right, like, we we complain about this. Like, oh, God, I can play Hope to Scope anymore. It's like, okay, okay. You can play Final fucking Fantasy VII on, like, 40 different consoles now. It was originally only a PS1 thing. It's on Switch. Right? Yeah, I can't play Omega Boost. That hurts. But I've got Zone of the Enders. I can't play Ridge Racer... But I have any other decent game that exists. Ridge, right? Okay, I you know I can't play. I can play Abe's Odyssey on fifty different things as well. Yes, it sucks. They're like they're not 
allowing you know thing like the nostalgia factor but at the same time there's some things where we we kind of just have to let go of at some point like i mean if they brought out a playstation classic with a dual shot controller mm, mm, i'll buy that one yeah because like, we'll just we'll mod and hack the shit out of it to make sure we've got every single game possible oh yeah <laughs> everything that's actually decent that's, that's the that's yeah. thing. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the old chip oh, i've got a chip in there mate lots of me play burnt game <laughs> okay yeah, I mean, yeah, but, um, I think most of it's like an optics thing because that you've also and you knew as soon as the announcement was official, you knew Xbox was going to say something. And sure enough, the same day, their their social media accounts got really active and just pointed out, "Hey, any game that's ever existed on our platforms, you can still play it on your Xbox Series X." This is because you've got nothing for your Xbox Series. Oh X. yeah, but no, like, <laughs> that's like that's like been, saying they started hey, this hey, a while hey, ago. Look, look, look! I know you've got a bandage, but I've got band aids. Hmm? I've got them these sweet fucking Elmo band aids. You like them better than your bandages? They're band aid branded. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm still okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna live. But like you're you you know you're beaten. Oh god, I'm, I'm I'm aggressive. I'm sorry. I'm very I'm not passionate about this topic, but I am goddamn passionate about trying to make Paul feel bad for being an old man. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just I've got to turn off my computer screen because I keep looking at it. I'm like bastards and their stupid behind the scenes footage it's not even it's not even relevant to the topic the one that maybe bothers me the lot or the most out of the whole thing is the vita part of it and because firstly this beautiful console is exactly that but secondly uh there was still a lot of developers still actively actively developing games for it like little independent studios where you know every dollar and every minute is kind of important they were developing games for the for the platform and have now been informed that that's not going to be like you're not going to be doing that unless you get get the game out. I think through certain like mid July, but even then they'll have like two three weeks to sell the game before they can't sell it anymore. Um, like that's kind of a dick move. There's a, uh, what we've learned is there's even a couple studios, uh, one studio in particular. I think they've got a game called Scour- Scourgebringer, Scourgebringer, something like that, which apparently has been on other platforms but was coming to the Vita, and they got tipped off because they've been referring to themselves as the last Vita game, and everyone thought it was just kind of some little inside you know joke with amongst the team but it turns out they will be the last vita game and um all these other developers who were still actively developing and i guess one that kind of uh springs to mind one that i've been made aware of through twitter stuff was uh colin moriarty and his team uh, and his um lily Murray games kind of team they were working on a game that was due to come out on the vita late this year and that's just not going to happen anymore like that's their lead their lead platform normally and they just have to pivot everything and change everything i don't know I, the the devs being kind of fucked around the process without getting any sort of notifications something that does give me the shits and it's such a sony move i love playstation but fuck their assholes and their communication is hor- <laughs> their communication is horrible they're japanese business people they're not based out like not run out of japan anymore though it's the Americans, no, but that's that's the higher up. That's the de- no, no, higher up they, is they, higher up is America now. What all of Sony? No, it's PlayStation. The whole PlayStation division, which is now, both by the way, PlayStation's oh, sorry, Sony's most profitable part of their company, is run out of America. Yep, like their execs. What, the who, did they, who did they? Who did they learn off, Paul? Where did Sony come from? Look at its roots. Well, there's that. Akuni Japan. was like. The only thing that could save them, dead, right? Dead in the water. Okay, they just—it's just it's just how it is. It's been a, it's been their cutthroat. I'm not look. I'm not justifying them being pricks. I'm just saying like why are we surprised? <laughs> ruthless, ruthless, like absolutely ruthless. Like they were going to do the same whole no game sharing thing that Xbox had until they went mm, backlash. Let's uh backpedal over there. Thanks. Hey, no, we're not going to do that. We never. We're gonna do it. You know, I mean, it sucks. It does. Even more, more I actually think about this instead of trying to insult you. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, even though it's such a small, like, little niche thing, like, I, you're putting it into perspective, it's like a, you know, it'd be like the Asta Theatre closing down or, you know, oh, the Kansas. local watering hole or something like that. Like, these places, they exist for a good reason. And then, like, when, they start to die it's like oh man like is that our fault for not supporting that enough like 
you know, I mean, it's also the corporation, like, Sony could have actually put some kind of decency into, like, still selling Vitas, I guess. Like, would have been nice. Like, I know you've got the market. You can, you can still get a Vita. DS at Melbourne and... Zoo. Oh, yeah. Melbourne Zoo? <laughs> that was a PSP that looked like a PSP, not a, not a Vita. Uh, I just I put something up. I was at Melbourne Zoo the other day with the kids, and they're they're selling this little water game that basically is like it's a straight up PSP where they've just ro- they've rotated the the triangle, circle, square, and cross buttons, and and then put it out there and said, "Hey, kids, play." Hey. Isn't that like it's uh, like the Sony controller, Captain, Ju- Captain Justice, like you know, leader of the Transformers, <laughs> next to Batman. With a Marvel logo. Oh, on the it? Avengers. Yeah. Iron Man, yeah, Captain yeah. America, <laughs> Thor, Hulk, and Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I love these off brand things. Matt, any other no, thoughts? So, oh, sorry, go on. Where does it lead us? Yeah, that's what you were saying. Where does this all go? Yeah, so, the, yeah I guess, yeah, big, bigger picture. The, like, the, what does it mean for digital games? And I guess, like, one of the things that kind of crops up more and more is kind of preservation of games and making sure that, like, they can still be for like historical purposes, those things still being able to get played. I guess like a lot of people will do for film, though film has done a better job of it over the over the journey that most things have been, I don't know, found, I guess, if there was anything that's gone missing. Um, I, yeah, like what does it mean for the ability to actually still access these games in the future? There's there's one very obvious way and technically illegal way, which is piracy. Four. But, well, um, isn't there like a whole side of the no, that's DOS stuff. But is it piracy if you can't actually get it? Yeah, I think it still is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because you don't own the rights to it unless it becomes free, free of license. Ah, uh, that old trick. Yeah, like we get um, one story I heard a few years ago, and this is not you know a piracy specific thing, but like Capcom, I don't know, maybe five or six years ago was going to put out, there must have been a whole bunch of Mega Man Game Boy Advance games or Game Boy games or something at some point that they were going to kind of package up and put in, like give that remaster treatment like they did the other ones in recent years. And mm. they they announced it and then afterwards had to walk it back because they realised that they couldn't find the game code from the originals, like they just straight up lost it. Oh, fuck. So uh, the old um, I put it in an important place, but can't remember. They've straight up gone. My dog ate it. Like that's basically oh, what that the, old trick. It's basically a, my dog ate it sort of thing. So my dog ate my digital my digital copy. Yeah. So like this is a, a, you know obviously a slightly different sort of circumstance, but like the idea of being able to actually preserve and save and keep these games archived somehow is, I guess if you can't buy them off the store anymore. And I, I guess there's an assumption that, that one day they'll so cut the... That's so weird, though. Because, like, emulators like and ROMs exist on the internet. Like, and that's where the piracy thing comes you, into it. You're telling me that you just can't go out and be like, download that code and, like, it's there? Like, that's ripped straight from the source. Like, I don't know. Like, if they're going to... Gosh, it's going to be the most nerdy thing that's ever been said on this freaking podcast. Probably not, but go But on. if they're going to clone Woolly Mammoth, there's no way that they can do it nowadays. So what they have to do is they use the DNA of woolly mammoths and combine them with elephants, right? The closest. I was going to say frog DNA, have, right? No, because then they'd just be scurrying each other, and there'd be too many woolly ma- mammoths. <laughs> These dynamic hairy beasts would rule well, us all. I'm only going off Jurassic <laughs> Park scientific well, facts it. here. Well, it's kind of very much similar to that. Because I think the frogs had the the same genes or whatever. What about but... South Park with a, a, a mammoth with four butts? <laughs> <laughs> just a, just a, oh, what is it? They, they had the, all the four butt things, but what, what else did he pony cloned? Cloned a Stan? Stan, that's it. <laughs> um, well, the monkey with five butts. <laughs> I was trying to make the most delicious. Damn, stop it. <laughs> Nerdy back here. I think. Well, what I'm just saying is, it's like if you've lost the code, is it's not like it's not it's not stinked. We still got other sources that you could just. Yeah, I'm sure. You know? I'm sure there's some of that. I, think I, I believe they, that some of the like that, the like, old ports on the Wii U that Nint- uh, like some of the Nintendo Virtual Virtual Console titles on the Wii U were actually like Nintendo grabbing people's ROMs from online, but that's because they're lazy yeah. shits. Um, like, I, but it, yeah, I guess it's possible in that sense. 
I don't know. I guess there's maybe the, having that legitimate legitimacy to it. I guess it's kind of important as well. And emulation for PS3 is still to this day unbelievably hard. Like, or specifically getting the ROMs running because of how fucked the PS3 console was in the first place with the cell processors and all that sort of thing. It's perfect cell is what they needed. And they, had imperfect they needed perfect cell. And... Yeah, they had imperfect cell. Yeah. And then they made it in the PS3 version 2 and it was like second stage and then eventually Cell Junior came out but we never got a perfect Cell until PS5 so hey good job nice Dragon Ball references Matto any any, any thoughts on the, the issue itself I've got one other component to the whole thing that well, might be important if they can't find the games for it maybe just ask someone just to copy a get, copy a disc for them then just give it to them can you give me just a like DVD old... burner please we're not even talking about PlayStation anymore. <laughs> I know we're talking for preservation of games. I still can't understand why they've never put it on the PS4 stores or any of that. I've always scratched my head over that. I don't know why, and I'll never know. Yeah, that that is weird because it makes sense of it. You know, to cycle into emulation, they they are capable of emulating their own system. They've proven it because PlayStation now exists, and you can play PS3 games using that. Like it streams them to you, but they've got a way to do it. So they're not just allowing you to, I don't know, basically run emulated versions of these of these PS3 games natively on your console. Yeah, which which is kind of which is kind of weird, but leads probably to the last the last part of it here, where where there was a patent that came out uh, sometime within the last month that PlayStation had kind of submitted, which was basically allowing you to uh, related to you being able to. This is a trophy thing, but allowed you to um, tick off trophies for. Um, like old games, as as if you know you could you could play I don't know some PS one title like what did you say before Omega what you say? what game Omega Boost what? yeah let's say Omega Boost for example, um and you'd be able to get trophies in it so that to me maybe says they are in fact working on some sort of backwards compatibility thing for the PS five finally maybe or even like that PlayStation Now version but allowing you to actually emulate it locally like they might just pull their finger out their ass. Maybe you won't be able to pop your PS1 disc in, but you might be able to like what Nintendo have done with the Virtual Console over the journey. You can you can buy all these games again if you want, digitally. Imagine if they did. Now, this is, this is just seeing how insane this could be. Wow. But they do the PlayStation mini console, what I can't remember what it was called, PSX Extreme Slim Edition, yeah. whatever. And, but instead of just being this thing that has a preset amount of games has a wireless or you know wired activity and you can go on to a mini playstation store and buy these things that have like you know achievements on them and stuff like that there's your problem so that, that sounds too good to be true oh well it does it does it really is and it, Come it on. sucks that sounds like, like effort <laughs> well it's one thing so he doesn't like do it it's effort effort but i mean like I think the place uh, well, Hashtag the Team Sega, Xbox. the Sega thing when they released their console, you could put cartridges in it. On Dreamcast? No, 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 no. The classic, the Sega classic. That's pretty cool. Mega oh, that thing one. or whatever. You could put silver uh, thing. And the crazy thing about that is somebody went out there and actually remade, like, made this game on Kickstarter, and a part of their thing was like because it was like the untold yes. chapter of thing. They put it. They actually put it on a Sega cartridge. If you if you bought it like one of the higher tiers, it's like so you get the digital copy and you've got a cartridge, and it works on those those uh things. My God, I need a desk that doesn't shake, and I need a phone tripod. If anyone wants to sponsor this, Doonies. You know what my you know what my <laughs> <laughs> a chip stand. Oh, I need I need a tripod. And Guys, we're a fish like, and chip shop. What you, are you doing? <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't been here for months, mate. It's like, I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> oh, Doonies. You've always been there for me. Thank you for stocking both Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi being the superior oh, fuck taste hell. of the next generation. Uh, hey, there's a Pepsi man up here. Vanilla. Matto, thoughts? It's, uh, put in there. Not Lord, on Pepsi. Uh, on like, oh, Pepsi. Could, yeah, Pepsi's great. <laughs> could you could you see this backward compatibility thing actually happening on a PS5? I guess specifically. No. 
just a pattern, just like said, throwing shit it, at the wall. It just, the it just evolved. Anything that involves effort for Sony, it's just a no. Unless they handball it off to someone else to do, I don't see it happening. All right, maybe, maybe they What's do. What's that one that keeps making games? A blueprint? Yeah, blue point. blueprint. Blue point. The blue point. Get, get blue point onto it. Remake every game, please. Start with Shame on Cricket 99. And stop there. <laughs> and stop there, because that's all you need. Um, What's that siphon filter? Oh, yeah. yeah well, just the, just the part where you just tase them and they catch fire. That's, <laughs> that's all. I don't know. Like, uh, I, I could see there being something to it, but it, it kind of flies in the face of, I think that there was some Gran Turismo 7 event either early in the year or late in the year. And Jim Ryan's like, he's the head of all things PlayStation at the moment. He said, oh, we, you know, I was there and, you know, we had setups for like all the past Gran Turismo games. And I, I looked over at them and like, why would anyone want to play this? Like, that maybe says a lot about their perspective. Now that's just Gran Turismo. Do they, the, do they no, know no, their no. audience? No, 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 no. Those people... Oh. PS1s, oh, they're song. 10 years old and they're there playing Gran Turismo. It, it was an unbelievably ignorant comment. Well, did they think just 15 year olds just play PlayStation or something? That's probably the people who got you banned for 10 years. They were probably 15 year olds getting upset. Fuck, the N4 Gran TV. Turismo, Gran Turismo 2 had a banger, a banger of a soundtrack. A whole bunch like, of them were awesome. It had my favorite game by the Cardigans, and that was just like. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, well, you get a copyright strike for how accurate that is. Yeah, yeah so exactly. I'll, I'll stop there. But, like, anybody that knows that, like, anyone that hears that, they're like, yeah, Daniel's right on tone. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> anyway. Ah, dude, from this, that's bullshit. That's the head of no PlayStation. One wants to play it. You know why? They, yeah, fucking Tony Hawk. They remade fucking Tony Hawk and everyone lost their shit. So eat, eat a bag of dicks head of Sony. Yeah. And there's Ooh. also Uncharted 4. Fucking. Where they had the old Crash Bandicoot, and everyone game loved that in it. That was great. It was. The, I thought, oh, this is fantastic. Thought, oh, I yeah. feel twelve again. Yeah, and that wasn't even remade. They literally just put out the old game as no. as shit as yeah, it was. Yeah, no, because you could. I see that. Um, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> when I was there, I was here trying he comes. To, here he comes. I was trying to play it. I was trying to play it on the joystick, and it would have worked. Didn't realize you had to go back to the D pad for it to work to play. Welcome back, Damo. <laughs> I legit so have no idea what by, happened. He was so upset just... by the head of PlayStation, Jim Ryan, <laughs> that he just dropped out. No, the crazy thing was there's a ghost in my house. Paul, the internet ghost has come back to me. I haven't dealt with this any of that green repeat... shit in a long time, so I think yeah, exactly. I've sent him your way. It's... Is this a repeat of last week? No, I feel oh, like... No. like... Yes, let's be like... careful. The no, Discord no, no, no. No, I outage is coming. I feel like Maddo's camera has like casper in it right yeah as anyone remember, remember casper the friendly when ghost. like he's on he's on tv but everything's blurry because of like the ghosts like casper's invaded the, the ghosts TV. of casper well, i casper's feel past. like on my screen so like casper's in my phone right and it's like fucking with just matter matter is still low res i don't understand what Right. Oh, no one can see that. No, no, it was just. You, like no, no, we, you, can, you can see it. It was just for a second you froze. So go, it was kind of there. And then all go, of a sudden. Go, go. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to sit here like this. So no, 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 pa- uh, no PS3, PS2, PS1 compatibility on PS5 is where we're starting. Yeah. Nah. Short no, version? No, I'm not do Fuck that. you, Jim Ryan. Well, then on that note, we'll Oof. probably wrap things up there as we... As we... But if it, was, if it was played with those dickhead PlayStation fans, it's apparently it'll be Microsoft's fault. Microsoft is looking very much like the good guy right now. Um, hashtag Team Xbox. You know, you know, you know Microsoft's good when you got a fridge. Yeah, we've got to shout them out as well. They they won the, the March Madness thing against Skittles, and so they're making the fridges. Damo, are you aware of this? What? They're making Xbox fridges. Yeah, so you know, obviously there was all the all the jokes about the Series X last year, and then there was some March Madness style like brackets that popped up on Twitter about like best basically social engagement and all that sort of thing. And it got to the grand final where Skittles was going head to head with Xbox, and so Aaron Greenberg, who's one of the heads of Xbox, piped up and said, "If we win, we will put the fridges into like out into the world. We'll actually manu- like mass manufacture these things." 
and they won by uh, like 50.5 to 49.5 percent of the vote Ooh, so the fridges are going to happen they were losing yeah, at the time didn't the rock didn't the rock get sent a fridge or something yeah but like that was a big proper full size fridge these are like mini fridges that have there was some influences that got some uh, some of them recently it looks like they're just gonna take the uh, take the extra sponsored branding off and just go here xbox mini fridges you can now buy them forget the scalping for the consoles the scalping I mean, for these mini fridges is going to be if, out of control if they're at a reasonable price i'm buying i one. mean I, well of course you're shit. buying one like do they play shit. games Instead of That'd be nice. so Paul Paul won't have a have a guest over at his shed people because he's an old man he'll just have a old couch out there. I'm just yeah, blankets, rocking chair with his and, tiny fridge yeah. that can put one or two beers in it. Instead of being a kind, caring gentleman, getting a decent sized bar fridge that can have at least five beers in it, we'll say. No, nah, we'll least, get there at seven o'clock. He'll kick us out. Yeah, he'll kick us out. It's seven. bedtime. I gotta I go. Be pensioners dinner. I'm going to bed, kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> my son's gonna get it in the morning said, thanks to this no <laughs> Tim Bell, if, he no, might be dapper if we could steal no, his beers not. Of course he's not. he forever he forever he's a legend a VIP representation on patch we'll just have to crop him into I've got this tiny little photo from when <laughs> he was very small yes son in you can... <laughs> yes that was oh when God, he was now, very yeah, small now. anyway uh, small. so fuck you Jim Ryan that's where we'll end this episode if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, share, subscribe. All the buttons down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted to every new video the moment it goes live on the channel. That includes more patched player two plays like Game Review, Game of School, and a whole bunch more. There's some awesome stuff there, so please subscribe and go and check it out. Matto, thanks for your capture card. I can finally start doing some player two plays for the site again. Brought to you by Elgato. Elgato. Oh, new sponsor. If you want to, you you sp- if you want to sponsor us, Elgato, with some nice lights or give Paul a capture card. Everything. Anything. Go oh. for it. Mine died oh, recently. Matto, Matto came through by letting me use Elgato. It's awesome. Um, it, the, because it works. Because it works. Visit the website player2.net.au for reviews, previews, opinion pieces, news, features, links to the podcast series, the audio version of Patch, the Player 2 Pixcast, and Dev Diary. We're on Patreon, patreon.com slash player2au. You can get a few bucks, lower tiers, early access, high tiers, monthly episode exclusives. And then there's Twitter, Demo, where you can be found. At Tacos Talk for us. Mano underscore feel. Like the cheeky where else at the end there. Paul James Games for me. The website is player2au. And again, fuck you, Jim Ryan. Oh, and if you've made it this far through all this bullshit, just so you know, we're talking about Monster Hunter next week. And we're probably going to do, I'm actually, I'm going to try and plan ahead oh. more often when it comes to episodes so that like people will actually listen. And I'm not always going to put it at the end. I'm going to chuck it in somewhere so that you guys have to listen to a full episode and know what we're going to talk about the week, the next week. If only we were that organized. First time ever. We are going to be super organized. You watch something massive newsworthy is going to happen throughout the course this week, and we're going to have to just kick Monster Hunter back one more week because of it. PlayStation's going to have all the games on the PS5. They announced that everything's backwards compatible. (laughs) See you later.